Now, what I do is I tie them together. Okay, let's stand it up now and spread the legs apart. So what I'm going to show is some simple physics of a mass and a spring. So we start by demonstrating Hooke's Law. Because we can get varying mass with water, we can fill this bucket with different amounts and measure how far it goes down. And then we're going to look at resonance and, you know, simple second order differential equation. We want it, like, I guess high enough. So there it is. There, you, there we have a spring that is mounted above. And it's appropriate to do it at the beach because we've got waves here and we're studying waves. We have a bucket, which is our variable mass, adjustable mass, continuously adjustable mass. This is analog. Most uh, masses are digital, either binary on or off, or, you know, a, a certain discrete number of masses are added in one gram increments, perhaps. But here we have water, which is more pretty much continuous. At least at the macroscopic level, we might understand it as so. Yeah, it's it's continuous to the macroscopic level. I guess water is digital in some sense because our molecules, and when we split the molecules, it's not water anymore. Yeah. So in the really microscopic sense, it's digital, but it's analog at at human scale. I could say all water is digital, and I wouldn't be too far off the mark. Functions as a, shall we say a more continuous. Uh, the quantization step is small enough that we can think of it more or less as quite continuous. So let's figure out how much water to add. What's nice about this beach is it's all pebbles, no sand, so it's clean. We'll have to put two of them in, I guess, to see. So it's less than two liters. Yeah, less than a half gallon. Yeah, and the spring still bangs its limit stop. There you go. Okay, now the spring is doing something. And how much do we have here? Two three buckets. Liters. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, two buckets is almost three liters exactly, isn't it? Yeah. One bucket liter and a half. is one and a half liters, yeah. which is, is uh, yeah, 1,500 milliliters, 1.5 liters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write on here just so we know which le level were you this filling to, right the here. top one? Yeah. Okay. So let me write on here then so that we know. This top one is 1.5 liters. Beautiful, isn't it? So we can start measuring from here really because Hooke's law you know, continues to be valid. Like We'll call this the zero point. Let's say if I had a spring mounted to the to the ceiling or to the or to that whatever it is and it's going like this and then if I had zero lengths like like let's consider maybe three cases where I had a little bit longer and a little bit longer and say this is zero and this is say m some mass m and this is 2m and maybe there's another one over here, which is, say, 3m. And there's a certain distance each m introduces. But if I started here and called that 0, then this is 1m and this is 2m. See how Hooke's Law would still obey even if we started with an initial extension, right? Yes. So we don't have to tear the bucket. Like, say, this is tear. Say, tear equals m, for example. Some mass m is tear. We could add to it more mass and it would still obey Hooke's law starting from here. <laughs> yeah. Let's use the top of a bucket as a reference because we only really need to care about length change, difference in length. So it's about 30 centimeters right now. We're just going to write down tear is 30 cm. That looked exactly one and a half, or do you want to get I another small? It because I thought it was better to pour a little bit out. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's easy to do. That one or this one here. Mm -hmm. 
and we can use this to top it up carefully in small amounts. We can even use the bottle cap. Mm -hmm. Like if you just need a little bit more, one more capful or half a capful? Yeah, even just a little half a half, a little bit. How about that much? Is that exactly? Uh, just the whole cap maybe. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we're still at uh, the same three liters now, is that right? Yes. So now when we add this in, this should put us to, to four and a half liters, right? Yes. So let's first see if it does give us four and a half liters on the, um, on the scale. Can I pour it? Yeah. Go ahead and pour it. Okay, hang on a second. Let me get the ruler in place. Yeah, go ahead and pour and we'll watch it drop. Beautiful. That's nice. It dropped six centimeters. And it is right at four and a half liters. And it's right at four and a half liters. Tear is 30 centimeters, which just for academic sake is three liters. Even though that, we're gonna, we can kind of ignore that number, but it's just for interest sake. And now it's 36 centimeters, right? Yes. And that's four and a half liters. So that's zero. And this is 1.5. That's the difference. This is kind of what we're we're looking That's at here. Change. So what we've got here is is yeah. what what we did is we put we got the water to three liters yeah. and thirty centimeters of elongation from some random arbitrary point. Yes. Uh, and then now thirty six centimeters with four and a half liters, and we're going to keep adding uh, exactly seven one and a half liters. Nice. Uh, are we are we graphing this? By the way, one and a half liters is. Is two metric fifths, right? Uh, yeah, we're we're plotting the data on the on the chalkboard. Is a kilogram, yeah. Yeah. So, and and you can see what we're doing is trying to get exactly a certain amount of mass in there, uh, which is a certain amount of water. And then, so what I'll do? Are we a little low or a little high? We're a little high. So dump a little out. Should I take? We can start to just take capfuls out. See, Scott, we're just trying to get it right at that top line, which is exactly one and a half liters. That top line there. This children's bucket is a perfect measuring bucket because mm -hmm. it's exactly one and a half liters at that top line. Now, what I'm doing is just taking little capfuls out. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you're pretty, yeah, you're pretty, pretty level. You're level, yeah. And the water would form. One more capful out. The what you want is the bottom of the meniscus at the line, but it's hard to see. So it's we'll just be consistent. Let's just be consistent. I'd say that's. Yeah. Another capful out. Just one more, yeah. Would you say we're right at the line, or one more, I'd one or two more? Good. Uh, maybe yeah. one more. Okay, now. From my side, it's like are, one more. Are we yeah. right at or one more? I think one more. Uh, right at or one more? What I could do is take one away and put half back. Yeah. Does that take us below the line? No, it takes us right on it, I think. That's, that's it. Yeah, because it. you can see it's kind of. It's Christ, it's good. Okay, yeah. okay. And then now what we're going to do, we were at 36 centimeters when we did that. That's what we're trying to determine. Oh, without knowing the time. Yeah, without knowing anything. Add it in. So we're at 36 centimeters right now. Go ahead. Yeah, pour it in slowly. And that takes us to about 41 and a half, maybe, four, well, almost 42. I would say, I would say 41.6. It's the better part of a half. Yeah. Close. 41.6. And how many liters? Six. Six liters. Beautiful. And we know pretty accurately. So let's also determine where the zero is. Help me hold that ruler carefully. Don't pull too hard on it and don't want to stretch its position. Yeah. But see, that's zero. Help me read exactly what that is. So I would say 27. Just to be 27, okay. Close, so. Yeah. so 27 is, t is zero. So that's negative, really. So I just want to make that note is that 27. So that what we want to do is count 10 cycles and see what the resonant frequency is. So see what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold this thing up here like this and let go of it. We'll do a practice run first and then we'll do it for real. 
So I'll go one, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, so the period, T, which is so 10.25, right? So, so divide that by 10, 10 to 5, 1.025. Period is 1.025 seconds. The period of oscillation of the mass spring system, right? Is 1.025 seconds, which is nice to know. Now let's load up another bucket and we'll do the same thing. We'll start measuring the period because it's getting long enough now. When it's really short, you can't measure the period that well because the amplitude's quite small. Right. But there's enough mass in there, we can start to measure what the period is. So now it's around 42 right now. It's almost bang on 42. Pour in slowly. And it'll elongate, it'll gradually get longer. And now, what would you say that is? 40, 47, 47.4, I guess? 47.4. Are you measuring the bottom lip or the top lip? The top, the bottom of the lip. Okay, yeah. And how many liters? Seven and a half. So, so there's, a, there's a theory that the elongation in a spring varies linearly with the amount of mass you hang from it. So like if you hang a weight on the end of a spring and it gets an inch longer, if you double the weight it'll go two inches longer and triple the weight it'll go three inches longer and so on. And so we're verifying that so we're going to measure how long it takes to oscillate. So I'm going to put it at the top and let go of it. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven point five two. Eleven point five two. Yeah. Eleven. 52 1.152 Oh now let's add exactly another one and a half liters. So this is the spring So you have three two. So we started at three liters and we call that zero Okay. And we then went to four and a half and we call that one and a half we went to six we call that three, three. One to seven and a half call that four and a half and so on just so the spring has some tension. And T equals 1025 seconds. That's yeah. what you... Yeah, 1.152 seconds for T now. The period of oscillation. Oh, the period of oscillation, okay. So the, the factor of interest is the square root of M over K, the square root of mass over the spring constant, um, you know, with a factor of 2 pi, exactly one and a half liters. Exactly. And then what we do is we very slowly and carefully pour it in and see how much longer it got. So now let's look at how long it is right now. Don't, don't pour it in yet. So now it's 48. You know, it takes a little time for the spring to... No, maybe. No, it's still 40, 47 and, and, and 0.4. Now add it in, pour it in slowly. Now see how it gets longer? The spring gets longer. 53 centimeters. 53 centimeters, and how many, what's the volume now? Uh, nine liters. Nine liters, okay. And then what's the, t and then let's do the time again. Ready? Tell you when, one, two, three, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve point oh five. So, 
Well, then we, then we're gonna open up our own bungee jumping. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so we're just verifying Hooke's law of a spring and the time uh, constant of second order differential equation. This island here is gonna be the, I was calling it Michael Huff Island, or we could call it the Zeidler Huff University. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Well, One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I just okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh